Hello everyone, welcome. We are taking a look at the demo for Heartworm. I uh, saw this going around on Twitter and I decided that it looked a little bit up my alley. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at it. It did recommend when I was loading the game up that some of these puzzles in the game, it, it recommended using a pen and paper. So I'm willing to bet they're going to be a bit complicated for me. <laughs> hey. Sorry you haven't heard from me in a while. I've been busy trying to find out about this place. You're not going to believe me, and I don't even know if I really believe it myself, but I guess a part of me must because I'm going. It's far, on an abandoned road, a few miles from that power plant in the mountains. It was hard to find anything about it. I started on message boards, and I ended up in a chat room talking with people, no people, no people, gone. They said a lot of crazy stuff, but the one thing that they all agreed on is that in that house, there's a room that can take you to the other side, to see the people that you've lost again. The thing is, no one who's gone has ever come back, and that's why I'm writing you. Not for advice, not to get you to talk me out of going. Actually, by the time you read this, I'll already be there. I just wanted to let you know, in case I don't come back. That way you won't be wondering where I've gone. Either way, you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm sorry, but I don't have any other choice. I just can't keep going on, not knowing. So we're just straight up into it. Oh, sweet. So we do have tank controls in this. Uh, my B button opens up the inventory. Uh, we got our camera here. So it's a lot like Resident Evil, which I am fully on board with. Camera. 35mm SLR camera. It was my grandfather's. Oh. Accidentally looked at it twice. Then we got film here. 35 millimeter film for a camera. Don't need to use this right now. Let's see. Uh, let's see if the okay. So there is a run button. It is the X button on my controller. It's got tank controls and uh, oh, so kind of similar to the Holston demo I was playing recently, and it's got over the shoulder aiming. Using a camera, that's interesting. Um, kind of gives me Fatal Frame vibes on that, but that's about it, just in, in the fact that you're using a camera. It's got a house here. Let's, let's take a look around the area first. There's a pretty expansive area to look around here. Road closed. I hate bridges. This isn't the way I need to go anyway. Uh, okay, so there is a quick turnaround if I hit L1. That's pretty nice. And then let's go see what we have on the other side of the house over here before I start checking the house out itself. So there's another door over here. I guess let's try the front door. It's locked. I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Um, so that that door over there has a, has like all the emphasis on it. So let's go ahead and check out the one over here. 
I had two other buttons. Uh, I was seeing if they did anything. So far, no. Oh, strap gun. Ooh. It's got the first person door transitions, just like Resident Evil, also. I'm into that. Well, now I want to go check out the other door. <laughs> Let's go check out the door on the other side of the house real quick. Oh, you can run through the grass. Sweet, I didn't know that. It's solidly blocked off. Not getting in here. There's a pile of cut wood. It looks like it's been there for years. So yeah, you can run through some of the grass, which is pretty neat. I wonder if I can look in through, like, any of the windows. The windows are all boarded up. It's too dark to see anything through the cracks. Alright. They still say the same thing on this one now? Yep. So now we're inside the house. I really like the whole uh, over-the-shoulder thing. Helps give a pretty decent view of things around you. Will you take the lit candle? Yes. A lit wax candle. Alright, so I guess we'll just start checking all these doors one by one. Do I have, like, a map feature? Controls. Not listed in here. Oh, sweet. So you can actually turn the tank controls off. I'm leaving them on because I like tank controls. It won't budge and the lock is cemented over. Oh, that's very Silent Hill-like. You can't actually go through a door. It's like, oh, the, uh, the lock is broken. It's like a safe room. It's got some pleasant music in here. Narcissus and Goldman's Herman House. Or Herman Hess. Uh, I said Herman House. I'm so stupid. <laughs> he thought that all men trickled away, changing constantly until they finally dissolved, while the artist created images remained unchangeably the same. He thought that the fear of death was perhaps the root of all art, perhaps also of all things of the mind. We fear death. We shudder at life's instability. We grieve to see the flowers wilt again and again, and the leaves fall. And in our hearts we know that we, too, are transitory, and will search for laws and formulate thoughts. It is in order to salvage something from the great dance of death, to make something that lasts longer than we do. Perhaps the woman after whom the master shaped this beautiful Madonna is already wilted or dead, and soon he, too, will be dead. Others will live in his house and eat at his table, but his work will still be standing hundreds of years from now, and longer. It will go on shimmering in the quiet cloister church, unchangeably beautiful, forever smiling with the same sad flowering mouth. Let's see here. Books on a variety of topics. If I had more time, I would enjoy it here. Yeah, it's the same thing on the other bookshelf. Oops, that is not the run button. And check out the cigarette. Was someone here? What's this red thing on the floor? Looks it's nothing. This room is noticeably better kept compared to the others. It also has electricity. I could store my items here, if this wasn't a demo. 
<laughs> nice. So there is a save point. Oh my gosh, is that like literally where I'm standing in the background? What happens if I face the computer directly? Yeah, it sure is. That's so cool. Now let's uh, save here, I guess. I guess if I die, I'll start here. The warm, soft candlelight makes me feel surprisingly calm, given the circumstances. So that's pleasant. I like I like the save rooms in this. Wait, didn't I grab this already? So now I have two lit candles. I unlocked it. really dark in here. Oh, good lord. A half-packed kitchen, lots of bottles. I heard kids party in here sometimes. You take the first aid? Yes. I didn't mean to skip through that. Not sure how this is going to make me feel better, but I don't have many options. Let's go see what that, what that was all about. Oh, it's gone. Whatever that was, it's gone. What, I wonder if I can use the lit candle to, like, light up my surroundings. Okay, you can. Cool. The cabinets have rotten food scattered throughout them. You couldn't pay me to open this fridge. Not my first rodeo. Double-sided fireplace. Nothing particularly noteworthy. So let's go ahead and take off this candle. Let's use the camera just so we can have this view. Pretty standard fireplace. Guess we'll check out this room now. Nothing interesting in the wardrobe. A dirty old couch. That looks important, so we're going to wait on that. The backyard is completely overgrown. The window's open, too. Pretty standard fireplace. Alright, let's take a look at this. Scribbled note. The message seems hastily scribbled. If this is real, if this place is what they say it is, I don't even know how I'll feel. Will it answer the questions that I, and everyone who, who has ever lost someone, have spent so long asking? And what if it does? Will that change anything? If I don't come back and someone finds this, I tried my best. Ivy is wrapped tightly around the doors. They won't move. I guess there's nothing in there. For now. There's another lit candle on the table. It's interesting. So I guess they just can uh, keep respawning. I wonder if these ever run out. Maybe that's why they keep respawning. A door here, and the requisite creepy painting in the weird old house. I didn't expect anything less. We got another door over here, too. More unsettling old paintings. We got, like, a big old cobweb up there in the corner. Through the cracks, I can see the way I came in, and the bridge. Let's check out this door first. It's locked. I hear the faint ticking of a clock on the other side. Through 
from here. Wonder what awaits us on the other side of this door. Hmm. I see. It's a bunch of ghosts. Just dot dot dot. I'm not going out on that balcony. It looks like it's barely held together. So we're gonna go upstairs then. Okay, the paintings are actually starting to freak me out now. Huh. Oh, what is all this? It's a bunch of dates. Elise, February 1989. Mary, April 1991. Paula, June 1992. Jacob, August 1993. Vincent, November 1994. Sarah, September 1995. Clayton, September 1996. Mara, January 1997. Forrest, December 1998. I'm worried about the fact that the camera zoomed in on the door when I got near it. It's locked. Not sure I even want to find out what's on the other side. Something's gonna get me at the bottom of these stairs. No? So, where do I go, then? Since going outside doesn't seem to do anything for me anymore. Or, I guess, didn't do anything for me at all. I figured I went through everything. So there's the balcony over there. The one that looks like it's barely being held together. So, I mean, I guess I'll go back inside. I felt like I exhausted all of my options. Get the candle back out. Closet is full of junk, nothing important. Wait, did I go through this door on the end? I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah. Oh, there's a door over here. I didn't even see this. More junk, half boxed up. And that doorway over there. Got some more boxes, nothing interesting. A door and a stairwell up. Dirty laundry and junk. Painting looks like if I touched it, it would disintegrate. Door here. Let's go see what's upstairs first. Another door. And another door. the 
clock. I don't know what to do about that right now. Shelf is completely empty. Also looks like it can move. Lots of old books, nothing helpful. I unlocked it. Cool, so that's probably the other side of the that upstairs hallway. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out this first door here. The knob won't turn. There's a vile smell emanating from the door. Alright, so I guess we just got this other door. Oop. I keep pressing the wrong button. Other door all the way in the back. Can't look out that one now. I have the same boom box. Nothing inside this one. Um, this room is filled with cobwebs. Gross. Nothing I care about in these drawers. A note on the bed here. Bedroom diary. Only a few days to notice how you used to be the chain. Oh wait. Only a few days to notice how you used to be. The changes were minor at most. Forgetting your ring, leaving your keys, staring into nothing like you knew it was coming. And I saw it all too late. The bed you were buried in trying not to be seen. Ghosts in white coats, what a terrible thing. Strangers' goodbyes, dreams of hearing you sing. The hour burns forever. 12.15. 12.15. So let's go put that on the clock. Twelve. Uh, Fifteen. So that just immediately took me out of the clock once I put the timer in, so I guess I could have also brute forced that. So here's this hidden door behind the bookshelf. And there's a key. Oh, I wasn't even facing the door and I went through. Unless there was another door there that looked like a bookshelf. Will you take the attic key? Yes. A bunch of blank VHS tapes. Attic key. The label reads attic. Now, where was the attic again? Is it this door over here? Yeah, I think it's the... This creepy door here. I unlocked it with the attic key. Do I still have the attic key? Yes. Oh boy. Creepy door time. More blank tapes. Oh, what the heck? This looks surreal. Get my camera out. 
the heck? Oh, this goes far down. The knob is totally broken and won't turn. The door looks weak, but there's nothing behind it. Um... Do I just go back? Is this stairwell going to be different on the way back? Did something change? Oh god, what is that? Hi. Oh, I got got. <laughs> that actually did creep me out. Hello? I'm not going back through there. Oh, was the idea I was supposed to run away from it? Ugh. What the f*** is this place? Whew. That actually did freak me out quite a bit. <laughs> Oh, what the? What's happening? What is this? I'm being chased by the static E man. Okay, um. Do I go in the house? Oh no, he's getting awfully close. Excuse me? No, I can't read that. The answer is no. We're not going in the house. Aha. That probably did something. Wait, let's go this way. So I see another static over there. What's this? I can't get past these. The static hurts my ears. Um, try this door. Okay, so we can go in here. Oh, good. We're at another save room. I still have all my stuff. Yeah, I still have the candles. Wait. Oh, my film's in the camera now. Whew. Let's go ahead and make another save. And then head back out into the thick of it.
yet, so I'm not still staticky. Well, I'm still I'm not still being followed by staticky man. Let's take a look at this house. So, uh, this house is a little weird on the inside. What's in here? A working mirror. This is my room, but how? Oh, right, this is the room from the intro cutscene. We were sitting over here at the beginning. Or was it over here? It was one of these spots. I remember us sitting. That's a big notepad. Oh, never mind. It's on the table. I thought that was on the floor. King. Bishop. Two bishops. Let's not mess with that right now. Everything here looks just like I left it earlier today. Was that even today? I've maybe finished a quarter of the books I've bought. I used to read all the time, but I can't even do that anymore. Whatever. I spent a lot of time just staring out of this window. Curled up, wishing for things to be normal. Wondering why we were born to suffer. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Definitely asking for my dose to be upped when... if I make it back from this. I wish I could pretend this wasn't happening and just watch a movie right now. Chess for beginners. The king. The king is the most valuable chess piece in a game of chess. It can move left, right, up, down, or diagonally. It can only move one square at a time. The object of the game is to checkmate, capture the king... If a player's king is attacked by an opponent's piece, it is called check. If the king cannot escape check, it is in checkmate, and that side loses the game. The bishop moves diagonally. It can move as far as a player wants it to, unless another piece blocks its path. A bishop can never leave the color of, of square that it starts uh, The color of square that it starts on. The knight. The knight moves in an L pattern. Two squares in one direction, then one square in another. It is the only piece in chess that can jump over other pieces. The Rook. The Rook moves forward or back on on the files and sideways on the ranks. Though any number of squares without other piece through any number of squares without other pieces on them. Tactical puzzles, often found in chess columns or magazines, task the player to find the best move of sequ or sequence of moves, usually leading to mate or gain of material. From a given position. Such puzzles are often taken from actual games, or at least have positions which look as if they could have arisen during a game, and are used for instructional purposes. Mate and one, black to move. Uh. E3, F3, and A4. Let's take our bishop and move it here. Yeah, checkmate. Will you take the film? Yes. Is that just more of the same kind of film? 35mm film for a camera. So, I finished that. Is that all that's in here? Is... Putting the thing in checkmate. Alright, let's go explore elsewhere then.
real quick, let's make our way back to the safe room. We're gonna go in here and make another save. Because we are coming up on quite a bit of time now. It says that there's only tw I've only been playing for about 22 minutes, but my recording is well over half an hour now. Um, so we're actually going to be breaking this up into multiple parts. So that's going to do it for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be continuing this next time. Bye for now.